guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to this week's video. Thought I would do something a little bit different in my usual content and give you some tips, tricks, hacks, whatever you want to call it, on being a little bit more organised around your home. So in this video, I'm just going to be talking you through and showing you some of the methods, shall we say, of being organised that I have found really easy and really important to just benefit me. I personally just find it a lot calmer when things are tidy. I like being able to like know that everything has its home. And if I want something, I know exactly where it is. I'm not going to be rummaging for a drawer or like just... And also, it's about things looking nice, I can't lie. It is, you know, everyone wants that Pinterest home. It's, obviously, it's achievable at some points, but... Um, and I'm nowhere near having a home that is Pinterest worthy. But I will get there eventually, I hope. But yeah, so I just thought I would share with you little things that I have learned and little things I do that help me achieve the organised life that I dream of. I know that sounds really sh really cringy. Obviously, I'm planning on making this video quite short and snappy so it's easy for you to follow along. So what I will do in the description box below, I will write each step out and I'll make sure anything that you see, like any products that you see are linked. Um, if there's anything else I want to add, I will obviously put that in the description just so it gives you a little bit more in-depth info without me ranting too much onto camera. So let's go on with it. One of the first things I want to talk to you about is organising your drawers. So if I just show you inside my drawers, I have these little compartments. In every drawer that I own, I have some sort of plastic um, like storage containers and then I separate everything um, exactly how I need. So this is quite what would be like a junk drawer essentially. But because I've got these containers in, it basically means I can find everything I need. So I've got absolutely everything from sewing stuff to batteries a bit of tablets mints face masks uh, then i've just got some absolute random stuff in here but because it's all in here like this i can find everything i need but every single drawer of mine is the exact same i just have as you can see as you can see very organized stationary drawer if i do say so myself this is very satisfying um i even have all the pens the same way but personally i just do this because it's super easy to find anything i need i'm not going to rummage in through drawers endlessly another drawer that is definitely very organized is this one this is my coffee pod and also a few cupcake bits but this is one of my biggest tips if you do not like the coffee pod holders that are out and about and you don't want to take up more counter space use these little dividers in the drawer so i've just got a few of these pots and they fit in the pods perfectly they're all organized into flavors um and it's just so easy it's right next to my coffee machine so i can just grab the exact pod i want without rummaging through through things or dropping them anywhere oh it's just so easy and i find that very satisfying something you've probably seen is labeled jars for pantries for kitchens for anything food related couldn't recommend this enough i don't have a lot of kitchen space so i've made use of my worktop and i've got this little tray with all my baking ingredients and utensils all in jars labeled with jessica kitchen and then the product name this is literally the most perfect little organized thing that i've done and i love it it's obviously more satisfying when the jars are full but I would recommend this to anyone that has pantries or has like lots of space. Just organise everything into, into jars. Following on from food storage, I have these little containers that have all different things in. So I've got one for spices and like cooking ingredients, one for pasta cereal. Um, I've got ones up here with the sweets and stuff in. Another tip I would say is to always take everything out of its packets. I do this with anything that comes packaged like this um, because it's tidier and it's also a lot easier than rummaging through packets for stuff. You can just grab exactly what you need, especially if you're packing lunches or anything along those lines, then it's just a lot easier. And it looks a lot tidier, just like this. But I would just suggest, if I had a bigger um, like pantry area, I would probably take a lot more and put it in containers and stuff. But I have quite a small cupboard space for my kitchen. So it's really, it was just a nightmare before I organised it. I couldn't find anything I wanted. I was just varying through packets and tubs and bottles before what I want. Now we're moving on to my favourite like area in regards to organisation. And this is the classic cupboard underneath the sink. I have like spent so much time organising this. And I've got it to a point, I do love it. It's still not perfect, but it is amazing. I cannot express to you how much easier it is to find stuff now it's all organized like this i got these drawers which i was desperate for and they have all my cloths and sponges i then have everything that's smaller in this one um just so it's all easy to grab i've got then my key products right all organized 
easy to grab. And then my laundry and other cleaning products, again, easy to grab with small ones just on the side there. But the whole point is, if I need something, boom, I can just pick it up. I'm not rummaging through, I'm not trying to look for anything. I know exactly where it is. And it's just perfect. And obviously I've got little rose gold labels, but I think I'm going to put some new embossed labels on each of these just to make it even better. Something probably quite simple is these little divider stands for baking trays. Um, I, you, you can get these literally anywhere but oh my god I could not be without these because it was otherwise a nightmare trying to get your trays out <laughs> I had one spare because I couldn't fit two into the same cupboard so I actually used it for my frying pans and look how satisfying that is you have no idea how easy it is to now grab a frying pan out of my cupboard and I know that's so sad but oh, I love it apologies for the lighting and shadows in this clip but I just wanted to show you this cable tidy box Cables are one of the messiest things in any of our homes and obviously there's a lot of ways to tidy them. Something that's quite simple is a box like this. Um, but also talking about cables, like look at the mess that would normally be out on show. Something else um, is a little trick for you, is labelling your wires. So this cable in particular is for my aquarium um, and I have labelled each plug with a colour and then I have then put that colour, um, it's just using post-its I've then put it around the wires so then as you can see there's one there because for me I have to obviously unplug say the filter when I need to clean it and so forth and it was a nightmare trying to work out what wires for what and now I can just do it this way you can also label them with um, any sort of stickers you can write on them you can use label makers just so you know exactly what is what for me the colour system was just a quick and handy way of doing it because these just wrap around the wire so easily with and post-its are something I had. I also then have one for my TV which has all the wires. On the subject of wiring, I've also done this behind my TV. TV wiring is probably the messiest in anyone's home because you have wires for everything. Um, so I've got these little clips to hold the wires in safe. I've also got cable tie, like well wire ties that are holding the wires together. So as you can see, it's flush other than the PlayStation wires. When you're sitting here, all you can you can't see any of the wires hanging down. They all are tucked right down here, and then they follow along the line of the TV cabinet all the way down into the little cable tidy box. And you have to admit, it looks lovely without all the wires in the way. If you are someone that has books and wants your books on display but you don't really want um, a book end or you're not really sure what to do, you can get these little book holders. Just to show you without the books in, you have sections like this. So when the books are all in place it looks like this. So essentially it looks like they're just standing up by themselves without any massive book ends or anything um, sort of at the side of them. They just look really neat. It's something I've had for a while and I think it's really perfect for just displaying the books really without lying them on the side or having something them to lean against. Moving into the bathroom, I just wanted to talk about these little bottles. They're the neatest way to organise any of your bath products. As you can see, I've just got four. So I've got bubble bath, shower gel, shampoo and conditioner, but it's pretty much impossible to get them for any product that you use. And they look so neat and tidy on a shelf. You can get them in all different colours and stuff. Like I said, everything's linked below, but I love these and I think they make it look such like so much nicer and tidier than any other bottles. Continuing on from the bathroom cabinet, I also have all these little organisation things in the actual bathroom. So I've got a little basket which has all the spare products. I've also got some sanitary products in these ones. So this is my first aid tin. It is the most little perfect storage container for anything. So I've got tablets, I've got all like absolutely any medication that I've ever needed or will need. Sorry, that's probably really loud. <laughs> but it means any sort of things I need are perfectly to grab. Also on the bath cabinet I have a little basket for bath bombs and I've also emptied bath salts into this little jar just because it looks a lot nicer than a packet. So if my key thing is just taking stuff out of the packaging it can look so much nicer. When I have more bath bombs this does look obviously a lot more appealing because it's just full but it's a nice way to store the stuff. Another thing I wanted to just show you through is paperwork which is probably some people's nightmare when it comes to organising but I am this organised that I know exactly where any paperwork I have whether it's instructions, whether it is a like a bill, anything, it is in this. Now I have got obviously a big like um, file holder 
which I have everything in. I then have different um, do like wallets. So I've got like this big plastic one which has all the instruction manuals for my um, anything that is regarding that's installed in my flat or anything that I've kept is in here. So if ever I have need a manual for something, it is right here and easy to grab. Same way I've got all my renting documents in one wallet. I then have one of these plastic documents wallets for my certificates, so like everything that I got from school. And then one of the last things I've got in here I can't really show you through is an A4 document holder. This has got every single bit of paperwork that I ever need in my life organised into car. Um, I've got car, like home, I've got doctor stuff. I've got basically everything and it's all organised in sections so if I need a bill or a bit of like a bit of documentation on something it is here rather than like rummaging through a drawer or a box or something I can just pick this up and I know what I need will be in here and it's probably the most handiest thing I've ever done I did this years ago and I've kept it the same I always update it throw anything old away when I moved I had obviously a big sort out all my bills and stuff had changed so I got rid of the old stuff put in the new stuff and just everything I need is in here and I cannot recommend doing something like this enough so there we have it, that is all my secrets to how I organise things in my apartment. Judge me if you want, do not care. I love being this organised and I try and get everyone else this organised. I'm a nightmare at work, I've not even been there that long and I've already been organising drawers and all sorts because it just drives me insane. I love just looking for something and just like boom it's there. This is what this whole point is. It's not just about being like a neat freak or anything like that, it's about making your life easier and a tidy home helps with a tidy mind in my opinion and I've always said that it's why I love being so organised and tidy but yeah so that pretty much sums everything up I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any tips of your own don't forget to like comment them below because I'm all over new stuff like if you give me some more ways to be more organised then I'm all over that and also if you are actually going to try any of these things if you're thinking oh actually that sounds good or looks good let me know let me know how you get on maybe you know comment or show me on instagram or something and i'd love to see that you've taken this on board um but yeah thank you very much for watching i hope you have a lovely week and i'll see you next time bye